Hello everyone, this is Jessica from Stamp Punch Love with another tutorial. I apologize that I sat, I'm a little under the weather, but I wanted to re-record the audio on this because for some reason it was really quiet uh, before. Before we get started, I want to introduce my kitty, Ducky. He is the personality behind my videos and he will make an appearance. This is the project we're making today. It's a little uh, scalloped tag topper box. I used tip top taupe and early espresso for the first one, and I used peak pirouette and smoky slate for the second one. I also used the tag talk, uh, the baby part of the tag talk uh, stamp set. As you can see, there is a lot of room. It's a two inch base, of course, because we used a scalloped tag topper. So there's a lot of room for goodies and sweets and such. Uh, it's an eighth of an inch brad. These aren't Stampin' Up! just because I haven't managed to add those to my collection yet, but I do always recommend Stampin' Up! product. Here is uh, a sketch of what we're going to be creating. Our score lines, our cut lines, uh, the piece that we're going to be removing. It may not make complete sense yet, but it will really suit. Uh, so let's get started. First things first, we're going to take a piece of cardstock that is six by seven and a half. Uh, today I am going to use Marina Mist, both in cardstock and in ink color. We're going to do a toad on toad, kind of like we did with the tip top taupe in Early Espresso. So on the long side, so the seven and a half inch side, we're going to score at two. Then we're going to score at four and then we're going to score at six. So we have three two inch sections and a one and a half inch section. Now we're going to rotate and we're going to score at two and four. Sorry for this sniffling. Now we're going to put in little uh, like notches or little tick marks at the one and five on both of the short ends. We're going to be cutting off those one and a half by two inch uh, rectangles, so we're going to score all the way down that just to make our notching easier. Then on the sides, we're going to score the center of that basically center two inch square. So at three, and when you flip it around, it'll be at four and a half. So that is going to make the next step much easier because the next step we're going to do is put in our diagonal score lines. And here, uh, we're, I prefer a metal rule, but uh, it's whatever you have on hand, whatever works for you. I'm putting it on uh, my notebook that I use to take notes. I'm lining up that notch mark with the quarter of uh, that two inch square to create basically one solid triangle and then two half triangles. We're going to do this on both sides. And then, so we're going to do that on both sides. And now on the top and bottom ends, we're going to do just the inside one. So we're going to make one half triangle and it's going to butt up against our two inch square in the center. I'm going to do the same thing on this end, of course, skip that one and a half inch um, section and just make our butt up there. And now we are going to uh, stamp. I actually kind of flubbed up here. It, I typically prefer to uh, stamp before I score and fold. I had a brain fart that day and uh, did it backwards. It, it worked out for me in this case, uh, but typically I like to do that first. So now we're going to fold our score lines. I like to fold uh, my long ones first just because it seems to make a straighter box. Now we only did our straight ones right now. Uh, we're not going to, we're going to ignore our diagonal ones that we did for now. Let's cut away our one and a half by two inch rectangles really quickly. And then actually I'm going to do the uh, whole side. I forgot I did the whole side uh, on this one first to show you a whole side. So we cut away that one and a half by two inch section. Then we cut down our one diagonal score line there to create our half triangle flap. We cut away that big piece, which I hold on to because it's perfect for our little stamping bits later. 
Now we're going to cut straight down that two inch square because we want that to be straight. So cut away our wibbly bit and then we cut down our diagonal score line one more time. So now we're going to repeat that on the other side. Perfect. Now, this should look really familiar. So here's our white piece again. If I lay it over, you see our score lines and our cut lines match. Our little squiggly bits are the piece we cut away. Now, we are going to fold the stamped side to the stamped side um, to create our flaps and our solid triangle. This is what's going to give us our tent shape. Now we're going to fold it all up and stick it in our scallop tag topper punch. You do have to fold it all up because it won't fit otherwise, obviously. Uh, we have a two inch slot there, punch, and now we have the perfect little scallop closure. So now we're going to kind of trim up our little tabs just so we don't have an overhang. I do like doing that diagonal. I try doing it without doing that diagonal score line and I just it's hard to get the right angle on your notch if you don't. But do however you like. I'm using sticky strip here. I have tear tape on the way. Yay! Uh, to use for uh, for my 3D projects from now on. I think I do have a couple of uh, tutorials fil filmed with sticky strips still though. Now I'm going to notch here. I did it after, uh, mostly because I had a brain fart, but it is nice that you get uh, your adhesive all the way to the edge that way. Now we're going to put our free edge to our scored edge and build our box. Perfection. If you have one in that is up a little bit higher than the other and not making your box close, there is ducky. Then you could always trim that up. I did that with um, a different one that it just came out really lopsided for some reason, made it exactly the same as the other. Here, I'm centering up my hole. I'm using my paper piercing tool from Stamp It Up to, cr to mark my hole for my brad and get it started. I'm doing it basically where the straight part starts and then I'm pushing my brad through, opening it up. Um, I wouldn't put it all the way down to the paper because if you do that it's going to be really hard to get your, uh, get it through your little hole on your scallop tag topper punch or that you created with your scallop tag topper punch. And you can see here I'm adjusting the brad because I did get it a little close so I'm kind of nudging it out. And you're basically done. So just doing a little fiddling and now we're going to do our stamping. Uh, this time I'm using the artisan, I'm sorry, I'm using the uh, label lab which coordinates with the artisan label punch but I'm going to actually be just popping out with my 7 8 minute scallop circle, this cutest baby ever. I was in a baby mood and I just couldn't resist, even though this is a retired stamp set. I'm so sorry, guys. But the Tag Talk is current. It's in our annual catalog and it coordinates with the one inch regular circle punch. So now we got that and I'm going to punch out with our little piece of scrap a one inch circle of Marina Mist and layer those up with, you know it, one of my favorite things ever, Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. They add the perfect little pop to every project. So one on the back of our cutest baby ever, center that up on our blue, little blue Marina Mist circle, and then another one on the back of our blue circle, and uh, of course put that a little towards the bottom that way we can hang the top of the circle off the edge of the box um, and it still give us a clean finish. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? It's 
would be perfect for party favors or little office gifts or whatever the case may be. So there's the Peak Pirouette, there's the Tip Top Top Early Espresso, and they are all three of them together. I hope you had fun today with me. Leave me a comment, and thanks for watching, guys. Gig'em!